Hi everybody, I'm Corey. And I'm Kyle. And today we'll be talking about liquid lenses, which I think are very cool. I thought that ever since I learned about them five or so years ago. Yeah, they're really simple, but they can do a whole lot. Um, liquid lenses are made from liquids. Uh, water, Makes sense. Yeah, water and oil. They uh, change shape, kind of think about like if you were to drop a liquid, a drop of liquid on like a piece of glass and like look through it, you know, it kind of magnifies or changes the you know what you're seeing but yeah they're they're driven you know electronically um, with either current or voltage um, and they're used in a lot of applications so they're focus adjustment so they're the the auto zoom you know we're maybe used to that on something like your cell phone or something where it's doing that but for machine vision traditionally that was done by either manually adjusting the focus or something like a stepper motor uh, but these electronically adjust the focus and they're using applications like if you have a conveyor belt with objects at different distances, some may not be in focus if they're out of your working distance range. And so this automatically recognizes that, zooms in, zooms out, whatever is needed changes that focus. Other applications include like microscopy. So if you're looking at maybe a thick sample, you can change the focus to go to different depths within that. It's called Z-sectioning. So then you essentially have a 3D image when you're left with all these two-dimensional stacks on top of each other. So these over here, these two are two of the more simple ones. Um, this is the very optic liquid lens. It's driven by uh, voltage. And this is the OptoTune liquid lens. So this one's driven by uh, current. Um, and these are the ones that are integrated into these lens assemblies. And these ones, you can see the orange kind of coil coming out of it, which you can also see on the very optic lens. Mm -hmm. So that is built into these lens assemblies, such as this one, which is a M12 imaging lens, M12 being the threading on the back of it. A uh, slightly larger one with a C-mount threading. And then this one, big one, is a telecentric lens with a built-in liquid lens. It looks a little bit different. There's not the orange cable coming out because instead, this one has one of the current-driven Optitune liquid lenses built into it right there. Right. And telecentric lenses, great for high-precision inspection. You know, you don't have parallax error, so you're able to get really precise measurements while also being able to adjust your focus electronically in a matter of milliseconds because of the built-in liquid lens. Yeah, and so this one has that same OptoTune liquid lens right here, but you can see it's kind of, you know, earlier on in the, the lens, if you will. Um, it's earlier in the optical trend, I'd say. So what's really cool about this one, this is the LT series lens. It's a fixed focal length lens, but the uh, liquid lens is a little bit further uh, in the optical train, meaning that it was kind of designed all the way, like all around the liquid lens. So typically liquid lenses are kind of put, you know, either at the front or the back of the, the optical elements. Um, and this one was designed completely around it. So it really was able to maximize, you know, the uh, ability of the liquid lens. Yeah, the whole range of motion of that, its ability to change shape. Right. And that's pretty unique. Most of the time, like Kyle mentioned, it's more of an afterthought. That sounds kind of bad, but it's just added to an existing lens assembly. But yeah, liquid lenses, really cool, just changing their focus, changing their shape when a voltage or current is applied. And again, some cameras can control them themselves. Uh, they have a built-in liquid lens driver. And sometimes there's an external driver, uh, there's the camera lens and something else that's controlling that change of focus kind of get an artificial sort of depth of field effect going on. Exactly. You basically have a much larger depth of field because you can change that focal position. Right. Yeah. So thank you so much for joining us. That's it for now. Hope you join us next time.